Today's adventure brings us to Disney Springs where we're gonna be walking through, for my first time at least, the M&M store. We're also gonna to go to see the MetaQuest Star Wars experience. It's in the former NBA experience a bit. So join us for a Thrill Seekers adventure. Hello everybody, it's been a while, but it's time to do another Thrill Seekers adventure and today we are at Disney Springs. We're going to check out the brand new m and store which opened earlier this year and then we're going to check out the MetaQuest thing next door as well. So let's go inside and take a look at the m and store. m and at Disney Springs. Here we go. It smells very chocolatey in here, but that's kind of expected. So as you can see, we have a wall of merchandise. You can get your favorite color represented. It's always cool. Some more MMs merchandise over here. Here they got some preset stacks, it looks like, of different MMs and different flavors. So let's take a look at these real quick. So, like this one, for instance, it's a milk chocolate pink. Or, I don't know, blue. Milk chocolate blue. Let me see how much they are, though. That's pretty cool, though. So you can get a little tin of M&M's. They're free for $35. Oh, normally $15. That's not bad. All these M&M buttons. Here's more M&M swag, including for babies. That's kind of cool. Chocolate filled gift of holes, two for 25. So not quite as good a deal as the other one. And of course, here's the real thing. They have the wall of M&Ms where you can get like a custom bag of M&Ms. That's really cool. They have all the different colors, all the different flavors. It's all weighed and where you can get just a preset bottle. That is pretty cool, not gonna lie. I definitely think that's something that's worth uh, taking advantage of in the future, because it's pretty neat. So if you want one of just like a set amount of uh, certain color, you can go with that. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, I like it. It's, uh, it's neat. They got all kinds of different flavors. Pretzel, honey graham, fudge brownie, mint. Oh, they have Skittles too if you want to really confuse people and get a thing that's Skittles along with your M&Ms. And these are like special colored mixes. Very cool. Very cool. All right. And then here are different like bundles and stuff you can get. So. Oh, you can design your own M&M's. That's also very cool. I don't know if that's operating right now. It might not be. But that's pretty cool as well. So you can get like your picture or like a logo and stuff on M&M's. That's neat. Really, really cool. First candy in this space. And then here's the massive queue if you want to purchase some M&M's. Definitely a neat store for sure. I like it a lot. I'll definitely have to come back here when I want to actually buy some M&Ms, but uh, for now, I think I'm just good to walk around and explore. What do you think of the M&M store, Matt? Not bad. Pretty cool. Lots of options. I think I'll definitely want to come back and make like a custom bag at one point. So, but yeah, it's a little tour of the M&M store. Now we're going to head next door and get ready for a trip to Galaxy's Edge in MetaQuest. So let's go do that. Quest is ready. The question is, are we ready? So we're sitting in front of what used to be the NBA experience, one of the shortest lived attractions in Disney history uh, that has been converted into a temporary Tales from Galaxy's Edge experience where you get to try MetaQuest VR. Uh, it's only here until July 21st, so actually this is the last week that's available. 
Uh, we've been meaning to do it for a while, we just haven't gotten around to it. And we figured, you know what, we watched a movie that was early enough in the day, and we could get a reservation for right around when we uh, were getting out. So, might as well try it. So Matt, you excited to try some VR? Yeah. I haven't had a lot of experience with the MetaQuest VR, uh, so this should be interesting for sure. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do it. We will share our thoughts after we get out. But uh, it'll also be interesting to see how they've altered this building. I mean, they, they haven't altered it much, clearly. I'm pretty sure it's all still decked out as the NBA experience, but they covered up the NBA logos, or maybe they removed them, I don't know. So we'll see. I think it's gonna be really interesting to see the future of this building as to what they're actually gonna use it for. I still think they should use it for escape rooms and permanent VR experience, but uh, we'll see what Disney wants to do. So yeah, we'll go in and we'll share our thoughts when we can. So here we are inside what used to be the NBA experience. They actually did some pretty good work to this because this used to be the whole uh, second floor and then you know, there used to be the NBA Experience logo and stuff. They, they did some work, put the MetaQuest logo on there. Looks cool. Of course, most of the building's not used, but you know, that's expected, so. So how do you feel so far, Matt? So far, so good. Yeah, apparently we get some swag when we leave, so that's pretty cool. I'm down for that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's gonna be a fun little, uh, little adventure into Galaxy's <coughs> Edge, which will be interesting because, you know, we've been to the real Galaxy's Edge many times, so now we'll get to experience a virtual Galaxy's Edge. So, mm. let's check that out. All right, so we just wrapped up doing the MetaQuest Tales from Galaxy's Edge preview. Matt, what'd you think? Not bad. Definitely uh, interactive experience. I really liked it. I thought uh, it was it was a lot of fun. How the VR was implemented, I think, was really good, and it was really accessible for VR. That's the oh, biggest yeah. thing. It's not super complicated. No wires. <laughs> You just grab your wireless controllers. You can grab stuff. It's it's very simple to pick up and play. It was cool. I really enjoyed it. And honestly, it does make me kind of want to get a MetaQuest at some point. So maybe in the future. But for now, uh, that was a cool experience. I'm glad we got to check it out. So yeah. So that's going to do it for this Thrill Seekers adventure. Long-awaited Thrill Seekers adventure here at Disney Springs. Hope you enjoyed it. I don't know when the next video is going to be. Hopefully not too, too distant future. But we'll see what the future holds. So hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, that way you know when new videos drop on this channel, and follow me on Twitter at ThrillSeekersYT on Twitter if you want to find out when we're going to be posting a video, because that's probably the best space. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next Thrill Seekers adventure. Bye.